Hello everyone, welcome to Maisie's Garden. This is a general message for the week of July 26th through August 1st for the sign of Aries. Um, this could resonate for your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus sign. If it does not resonate, please check other signs in your chart. Um, if you guys feel like you need further guidance or a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, hit the notification bell so you guys get these weekly readings. Again, this is for July 26th through August 1st. I am going to use the moon, uh, Moonology Oracle cards and the Gilded Tarot. I just don't have a box for the Gilded Tarot to show you guys right there, but it is uh, the Gilded Tarot. All right, guys, let's get your stuff ready here. Hold on, I just want to... All right, put the moonology aside for now. You know how that goes. All right, um, so they have been casino shuffled and cut already. So let's see what the overall, eight of wands. So maybe some kind of communication comes in uh, this week, Aries, or you are moving fast towards something. Um, there might be a lot of things or maybe a lot of things coming at you all at once this week. So let's see how this resonates to the rest of the reading, how that plays out. Knight of Pentacles for Monday. Tuesday, Three of Pentacles. Wednesday, Two of Cups. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Eight of Swords. Friday, Queen of Swords could be an Aries Leo. I mean, I'm so sorry. Not an Aries Leo. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. To me, this is a Libra, though, like um, energetically. The Lovers, this could be Gemini. And Sunday, Five of Cups. Interesting. Aries. Okay, so let's start off. Monday, uh, night, night of pentacles, something slow moving. So slow moving, but it is a steady, stable pace. So you could be moving very, you know, slow in the beginning of the week, um, moving very methodically, making sure you know each step that you want to take, um, you know, not, uh, rushing in You're you're moving more on the slower side, maybe even a little stagnancy here. Um, Tuesday is the three of pentacles. This is about working with something or working on something hardworking. This also could talk about partnership, um, coming into a partnership with somebody, uh, working together to get something done. Um, so this could mean a partnership because the two of cups on Wednesday is here. And this is about a connection, a deep connection, a love connection, emotional, um, an emotional connection, typically, usually with somebody else. This could talk about having self-love, um, but between this one and this one, I think this is about a partnership. Maybe there's a partnership, you know, because Thursday you're in your head. You feel maybe you're trapped or there's a level of um, not being able to get out of your head maybe over this partnership, maybe because it's been slow moving or there's a stagnancy within a partnership that's really got you in your head. Um, and you could be connecting with uh, like a Libra or somebody that is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or even if they, it's not those signs, um, it could be somebody that's just extremely intelligent. Um, they, they follow logic and rational thought and they don't let their emotions overwhelm them. They, they make moves logically and not from emotion. Okay. Um, by the way, this is Libra. That's your sister sign. That's your complete opposite, um, on the wheel of the Zodiac spectrum. So, um, there might be a lot of yin and yang going on here, especially with the lovers here, the, the you know, Gemini, they're, talks about, uh, tw you know, twins, right? Two dolphins here, two people. It's an extremely strong connection. So it's definitely 
some kind of partnership that you have heavily on your mind. Maybe it's going slow. Maybe it's not where you want it to because for Sunday, the Five of Cups, this is some kind of grief or sadness or really in your feelings, you know, really, you know, um, focusing on what hasn't worked out and not realizing that there's still some, you know, cups here that you can work with. All right, let's see what else comes out. What else for this week for Aries, July 26th through August 1st? Um, I just feel like maybe there's something you really want to work on here, Aries, and it's just not playing out. There's a decision that needs to be made as well. The lovers can also talk about making a decision. Um, and maybe you're just really in your head about making a decision and it's causing you a lot of grief because you don't know which way to go. I don't know if I should take these or not. I don't... I don't think I should take them. I don't know, though. So, interesting enough. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles. There's a true partnership here, but it looks like that maybe there's somebody um, in the middle of it possibly Aries. This is a quick little thing. I'm going to put these back. I don't quite want to take these, but this might be a little snapshot. This might be for a few of you that maybe there somebody has gotten in, you know, has planted something in the, this King of Pentacles ear is getting in between <coughs> you guys, or this is you trying to be really stable and work on becoming more emotionally nurturing and more mature. Um, really working on being stable within finances, but this also could mean that there's somebody um, coming in between you. I'm putting this back though. Let's see if that plays out somehow. Okay, anything for this spread for Aries? For the sign of Aries. this one flew four of cups yeah some kind of disappointment some kind of mopiness you're just really not feeling like maybe things are working out or you're losing hope that maybe things will work out wow ace of pentacles ten of pentacles seven of swords huh I don't know. Maybe there's... See, this is... So to me, this is like, you know, an offer, some kind of gift, offer of stability, but there's some kind of uh, sketchiness or trickery or they're not seeing everything. There's some kind of elusiveness about this stable the stability, this offer, maybe that's why you're in your head about this. Um, maybe you're feeling like, uh, this also could be self-deception. Um, uh, maybe you're not seeing Aries that there is a lot of, um, opportunity for a new beginning. These are, you know, aces are new beginnings. This is starting, this is starting new, um, and then the Ten of Pentacles is about stability, but there's some kind of trickery or thievery or sketchiness or shadiness going on, um, or you're deceiving yourself somehow about maybe, you know, the level of stability. Maybe you're not seeing it clearly. Yeah, Six of Cups. There's, there's some kind of, this is like a really, really deep connection. This is, um, some, a soulmate of some kind you're dealing with. Uh, and I, I don't know if like you're self deceiving yourself that this isn't like what you think it is. 
Um, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Balancing. I just think you're really indecisive about whether or not there's just like a lot of indecision and like lower feelings here, Aries, that I'm not quite sure. Anything else for Aries regarding the spread for the week of July 26th through the 1st? Three of Wands, waiting for ships to come in, maybe even turning your back. Waiting. Maybe whoever this independent energy, the one that is able to really manifest for themselves, has been trying to wait for balance to come in. And maybe there's a level of self-deception here that they don't see that there already is some kind of balance and new beginning and really good offer here. What is this seven of swords? What is this seven of swords spirit? Can you clarify please this seven of swords for me? Page of cups, eight of cups, wheel of fortune, the devil. So, and that was to clarify the Seven of Swords. So, there's some kind of maybe, you know, love offer or communication coming in um, <laughs> about wanting to walk away from anything negative and change, but there's, there's still some level of, like, toxicity. Maybe it's, you know, maybe the negative things are changing. Maybe by walking away, everything is changing Choosing to walk away, you know, just dis disassociate yourself, um, detach yourself emotionally from anything negative is changing, you know, maybe the heaviness and toxicity of this. But I still feel like that maybe this, there's a love offer that, um, I don't know here. I think things are changing, but I'm not sure you're enjoying the change. I, I just, I don't see, there's, there's some kind of level of toxicity and deception going on in whatever this whether it be your own self-deception and own self-negative talk or the other person is doing this. But I see there's an extremely strong connection. I think someone's self-deceiving themselves. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's, oh, oh, what's happening here? Wow, that's like a whole lot. There's a whole lot here. Maybe there's a choice. Maybe someone has a choice. Because there's that decision, that lovers, that decision needs to be made here there's there's a level of toxicity here four of wands at the end of the at the bottom of the deck yeah i just this is like so back and forth there's a level of toxicity that needs to be like dealt with within a uh, a relationship this week and some kind of balancing needs to happen here some somebody needs to get out of their head and stop having these self illusions and fears about things changing and maybe walk away, you know, from the negative emotions, move away from the negative emotions of things. Let's get a, some moon cards and see 
bring love into the situation. So maybe, um, you know, stop being so detached emotionally. Maybe by bringing love, by, by, you know, walking away from any of the heavier negative emotions and, and you know, bringing love into the situation uh, changes things. Bringing love into the situation and walking away from negativity, you know, I mean, there's somebody, there's, there, I mean, between the lovers and the devil and, you know, the two of cups and the six of cups, there's like an extremely strong bond you have with somebody that you feel like you're bound to and you can't walk away from. But there's a level of independence and negativity that needs to happen within this relationship in order for things to kind of change here. Your commitment is being tested. Interesting. 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 Interesting, Aries. Anything else, Spirit? Your commitment is being tested, huh? Yeah, there's definitely some something to do with a major relationship within your life. Uh, work through your fears is out here. Luck is on your side and it's time to take action. So I think, you know, whatever this decision to get out of your head and stop self-deceiving yourself, because I think that there's a really big offer here of some kind of stability and, and newness and you need to move away from, because there's some, some kind of union or something is trying to come in here. Yeah. Wow. Clarity's coming for you, Aries, this week. You're going to you're going to be very clear on what it is. Work through the fears. Um you know, bring love back into the situation. Talk lovingly. You know, be loving, be open to receiving um, because I think it's going to work out in your favor, but you need to make a decision and act on it. Stop deceiving yourself into thinking that there's not something here for you when there very well might very well could be. This is an extremely strong connection. And yes, there's a level of not, there's something going on here, but it, it, it needs to be dealt with once and for all. I think the waiting on the balancing needs to be done. You need to move out of these heavy emotions and not get out of your head. See, you came out, Aries. Take action. You are a very forward-moving sign. You, you know, you are quick to take action. So maybe, you know, reach. maybe reaching out, maybe offering some love or, you know, Whatever it is that you've been feeling called to do, get out of the stagnancy and stop moving so slow and allow yourself to change. I mean, this stuff was divine timing, though, because the Wheel of Fortune is here. So there's some, some kind of maybe karmic cycle has been closing for you guys, and you need to get out of your head. Hmm. Okay, Aries. Um, that's what I'm seeing for this week. I hope that this resonates with you guys. If it doesn't resonate with you guys, um, please check the other signs in your chart. Um, if you'd like to know or need to know how to um, get those, like get the other signs in your chart, feel free to reach out to me. My email's in the description box below if you guys feel the need that you need further guidance or um, a personal reading, you can reach me there. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys get these weekly readings. Um, again, I hope you have a, a great week. I know it's going to be a little bit heavy and you're really going to be in your head, but I think that if you, uh, really ground yourself and sit down with yourself and again, work through your fears here, you will be able to get through what you need to get through. Okay, Aries. I hope to see you guys next week. Goodbye.